I'm going to practice making decisions doing an exercise that I call random pulls for Japanese mahjong, also known as Richi. If you have a set at home, you can do this too. It's a great way to build your confidence and learn all the yaku. If you want to download this player reference, there's a link below the video. All the scoring elements are in there. Let's do some random pulls. If you're new to Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Let's get some practice done and figure out what we would do with some drawn hands. We'll do six random pulls and we'll alternate between east and south rounds. We'll just say we're the dealer for these, so I'll get 14 tiles each time. We'll just pick a random Dora tile. Dora indicator, I should say. So for this random pull, two dot is Dora. We don't have two dot, but we have three dot and four dot. This could be a good potential mixed triple T. I think that's probably what I would try for. Okay, so I think I would try, oh, it's not a mixed triple T, it's called a pure double T. If we get two dots, we could have potential chi there, potential chi here, fill it in with two dot, Dora. That would be really nice. So we have here a chi, potential chi, potential chi. I would discard these two first, followed probably by this one. We have one, two, three, four, five blocks. We don't have a pair though. Well, this could be a pair, I suppose, but if we use those for a plan for potential Dora, we still need a pair. I would throw those first and try to pair up at least one of these, maybe the seven, but we could chi chi potential pure double chi there. That's how I would try to play this. East, so south is Dora, and we're on south round. No south, green, west. Okay, for this one, I think I would try for Pinfu, which is all cheese, all three in a sequence. I think I would go ahead and discard these honors first, because look at all these numbered tiles. We have a pair. These are all isolated, but we have T potential here, here, and here. So I would discard these first and then try to, oh, here's a cheat. Here's a potential chi. One, two, three, four, five. We even have, no, we don't have, we have edge weight. So we need a three bam to complete here closed weight, closed weight, edge weight. We would need to draw in some better weights. We need a side weight for pinfu. So that might take a little bit of work, but we do have blocks. So there is chi potential there. I would try for pinfu here. No Dora opportunity right now. Eat soup with nuts. North is Dora. No Dora, only one honor. Right there, green dragon. We have three pair in here. Right here, one, two, three. I think though, I would try, I would get rid of this green dragon first and try for pinfu because we could split those pairs out 
well, we need a pair at least. So there's a potential chi, that's isolated. There's a potential chi. And then we have a potential chi here. One, two, three, four. So we're missing some chi potential here. So I think I would try to draw in number tiles and play pin fu here. Get rid of the green dragon first. And maybe get rid of this one and nine and try for all simples as well. Because there's only two terminals there. I think that's how I would play this one. South round. Nine dot is Dora. One honor, green dragon. I would try for Pinfu again. Get rid of that. There's potential chi, including Akadora, red five. Potential chi, pair, isolated, isolated. Pone. Pone. There's a pone. Okay, so I think I would still try for Pinfu here, but if I paired up, if you pair up enough, you could go for toy toy, all three of a kind. But we could split that out to a potential chi and maybe let that be the pair. Isolated, isolated, potential chi, potential chi, isolated, potential chi. One, two, three, four, five, including a side weight. Yeah, that's what I would do here, Pinfu. Pinfu and Akadora. Back to East Round. One crack is Dora. No Dora. We do have some cracks though. And there's a three. If we get a two crack, we might be able to use that one crack. Oh, look, we have Akadora. Yeah, look at all these BAMs. I still think, even with all those BAMs, I still think I would try for Pinfu. Potential Chi, pair. Potential Chi, isolated. Potential Chi, potential Chi, pair. So I would get rid of the West. And look, all simples, no terminals. Pinfu, Tan Yao. That's how I would play this one. Ooh, an Akadora. That would be nice. Last one. Dora is seven bam. No Dora. We do have six BAM though. Only two BAMs. No, here's BAM. But we have a pair of green dragons. Dragon Pwn potential there. That's a Yaku. Okay, so I would go for Dragon Pwn. Dragon Pwn, let that be the Yaku. We do have a pair here. We have a potential Chi, potential Chi, potential Pwn. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do here, but Dragon Pwn, that's what I would try for. Win as quick as we can with the Dragon Pwn. Let me know what you think about random pulls. I think it's a great way to get to know all the Yaku. Don't forget about that player reference. You can study those Yaku and even play online at Mahjong time to get to know the mechanics of the game and practice decision making. There's a link below the video if you'd like to try that out. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. May all your picks be keepers.